this is now describing the 3D of the energy world. First one is decarbonization. Decarbonization means that we are going more and more in the renewable field. 50% of the expected new energy is going to be in a renewable world, in a renewable technology. This is the first D of the, uh, uh, of the change that we are facing. The second uh, D is the digitization. We are connecting all the devices. Our devices should be talking to other devices in order to make it more compliant and mo make it more efficient. This is the second disruption. The third disruption is about decentralization. A lot of things has changed in the world of the energy, in the world of the utilities. The decentralization is what? That today we are having generation everywhere in the infrastructure, in the network, in the grid. What is our advanced grid vision? What is the solution of our digital world? Of what is the solution of the energy world that we see for the, for the future? Three angles that we see. Number one is the grid efficiency. All the tools that we want to put in place in order to make the grid more efficient. Automation, smart devices, software, SCADA system. This is one point, which is how do I manage automatically, how do, manage, how do I manage in the real time my grid? Number one is efficiency. Number two is about grid edge. The grid edge is the way of introducing renewable energy. It's the way of putting the energy inside the grid. And this is how do I manage this distributed generation, which is now becoming what we call also microgrid. The third, uh, the third answer to this equation of the 3D is the demand side. We have to work on the generation side. We have to work also on the demand side. Whether it is on the demand side at the level of the industry, but also at the level of commercial industry building, and then also at the level of the residential which is how do we manage the demand side, how do we integrate this negawatt, which is the negative watt that we are injecting, or re, I would say the subst I mean, taking off the, 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 the grid in order to make it happen. Where are the most exciting innovations in the energy sector occurring? So decarbonization, renewable penetration, and generally the necessity of more efficiency in the distribution network uh, generate uh, a technology uh, acceleration. For example, uh, network automation, smart voltage regulation, uh, smart metering, advanced distribution management system, 10, 15 years ago was pioneeristic. No? Uh, as Enel, we started our program for uh, SCADA for remote control 20 years ago. We started smart metering 15 years ago. We started 11, 11 years ago our ADMS uh, uh, project with uh, uh, Schneider people in Serbia. Consumers becoming prosumers. And that has driven us much faster in trying to adopt all the 3D technologies, uh, in making it more meaningful, uh, and to meet customers' expectations. I consider demand side management as important as distributed energy resources. I have a pen in my hand kind of demonstrate. I see it as kind of a balance point. You can work either the demand side management portion or the generation portion. But for that thing to be balanced, you've got to work in both spaces and it's got to be connected. What will be the magnitude of this power system trans uh, transformation? Because we are transforming this power system pretty rapidly. With the power system adapting, we had as well all the utilities having to adapt their businesses. Because uh, when we look at technology, we tend to look at technology from an integrated way. We think, okay, what makes sense uh, to be put in place? When we look at the power system and we take a business-driven approach, it's a slightly different. With unbundling rules in Europe, with the utilities having thermal assets on one hand and, and being t asked as well to add renewables, having to integrate intermittent renewables into the system, I think that there is a, a decoupling between the economic fundamentals and the technical uh, logic of operating a power system. And this is something that is, is, is a structural in Europe. It has changed completely the rules of the game. Utilities are trying to adapt to this new reality. New entrants are getting there. And clearly, technology is, 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 is the only enabler that is going to make this possible. I think the revenue element will come 
if in fact we're listening to what our customers' needs are. If the solution that the utility is presenting solves what that customer need is, I think the revenue will follow. I think a microgrid is a legitimate solution for select customers now. Your data centers, your hospital districts, I think those are legitimate needs um, and I, I think the utility is in the right spot to provide those needs.